I was going to record this video about players that you should buy ahead of this Norwegian League Player of the Year being announced. Kind of missed the boat on that one. I think it got launched about five minutes ago. Um, so I've had to kind of rethink what I'm doing here. In terms of players that I invested in, managed to shift a few already. Um, bought these on minimum bid. Just some uh, Norwegian League players since what that's over 2,900. I had bought some of these about two hours ago, I sat and bid uh, just the minimum, they're not going to sell for what I wanted them to, most of them I thought, you know, but because there's an inform required, uh, I kind of jacked the price up a fair bit. So yeah, I mean, I don't get me wrong, all in, I think I, I managed to, yeah, managed to scoop a decent amount of profit off of some of them, hopefully a couple more sell while I'm recording this, I doubt it though. Um, so yeah, have you had Norwegian silver players in your team might be worth going to check out see if they're worth anything I don't think it's still a 73 rated squad so I don't think there's going to be too high demand I'm um, just going to check this out while, while I'm recording this to see if there's anything for Norwegian Christopher I don't know if he's I don't know if he's in demand there's only four in the market geez oh I'll keep an eye on it, but yeah, it's not a too high rated squad. There are, um, I believe, only requirements for one in form, and he's a centre back, so I doubt it's really going to have too high a price tag. Um, well, it's always worth seeing with these, uh, with these low rated. Of the week can't sell for, I doubt that's going to be too much. That's not a hell of a lot. Um, so, yeah, if you have Norwegian silvers in your club, I would maybe go and check, see if there's a few that might sell. Um, I managed to get shifted, I managed to shift a couple in the initial hype for a couple of thousand each. Um, so, you know, it's, it's always kind of worth checking. The Cyber Monday SPCs have yielded a fair amount of, I don't know why I went the squad battles there, uh, SPCs have yielded a pretty decent level of um, hype around players as well. I managed to shift um, you know, a couple of just normal non-rare gold cards for, um, I think some of them are like 4,000, there's one I've got in my transfer list now, I think it was 7,000, and you just you catch that, somebody if a kind of popular YouTuber posts a solution, everyone jumps on it. So it's kind of worth keeping your eye on that tonight if you're watching this on Monday night. Uh, I'm going to open this. This is just I mean, a few bronze players and some gold players from crappy leagues. It's a jump, it's only a jump of gold pack, but it's you know that's what it is. It's near enough free. Um, so I might as well open this while you're here and pack nothing again because that's generally what I tend to do when I record these things. Yeah, there's nothing in this. <laughs> With the longest streak of uh, recording videos. Oh, let's see this guy. 71 rated Norwegian centre back. 2,000 coins, maybe, maybe just shy of 2,000 coins. We're looking at 15, 17. Uh, still gonna sell them. Yeah, so uh, my streak of recording videos and packing nothing whilst doing so continues. I mean, I packed that inform Mustafi in my team of the week packs. So I suppose I've got a little, had a little bit of luck, but I didn't record that. I wasn't recording that at the time. I did that at the end of a video. Um, so yeah, uh, Norwegian players, check what they're worth. See, so you might be able to get a couple that are worth a thousand. Now, as for Cyber Monday, I've made a few purchases. These are just my team of the week. Team of the week. Marquee matchup predictions, investments, and yeah, I've bought a stack of Dante informs. These are, I mean, they're going for under 20,000. 
at the moment, uh, if you're watching this on Monday night, I would jump on this because these, uh, I'm sure there's like 384s in this current team of the week, which are about five or 6,000 coins cheaper than the next cheapest 84. So I'd say they're a pretty solid investment. You could probably make four or 5,000 coins off each of these, uh, maybe a week or two after the after the SPC drops. So if, you, if you've got the, you know, if you've got if you've got coins in the bank, I'd say it's a fairly sound investment. Um, yeah, so other than that, I've got marquee matchups guys here from Liganos and the Saudi League. Um, we'll see how they go tomorrow. Yeah, so other than that, check club for Norwegian players. Keep your eye on the flashy SPCs and keep your eye on the ball with regards to non-rare goals because some of them go way high really quickly. Um, yeah, other than that, buy a stack of Dantes and keep making loads of coins. Thanks for watching. Thank you.